know you've been abused. I know you've been lied to. I know you've been ripped off, cheated, maligned. And that feeling that someone has taken advantage of your generosity and friendship is really aggravating. But by the end of this video, you're going to have a Teflon skin. So that nothing and nobody will be able to bother you again. Listen, if there were one school where everyone who went there became super successful, then it must be that what they are teaching in that school are the ideas you need to win. The reason people don't succeed is not because they're unlucky. It's because the ideas they are working with simply do not work. In my book, I talk about this a lot. That the people throughout history who succeeded greatly did so in remarkably different ways. Steve Jobs is as different from William Shakespeare as Rockefeller is from Upper Winfrey. However, when we look at how they thought, it's incredibly similar. It's not what they did that made them win. It's how they thought. The winners learned it, and you can learn it too. And this issue of resentment is one of those key ideas that anyone can learn and will dramatically change the quality of your life. How do you deal when you get ripped off? Before we even get started, it's important to realize that this is one of the facts of life. King David talked about it 3,000 years ago. It's not a question of whether you're going to get ripped off or not. It's only a question of what you're going to do after you get ripped off. In life, you can either complain about the iceberg or search for a lifeboat, but you can't do both. I'm sure you've heard this line. Don't let it get to you. Or get over it. Or words to that effect. And the reason somebody is telling you this is because they can see that you are in the grips of resentment. And while those lines are easy to say, they're very hard to implement and live with. So I am going to give you a really simple way to think about it. Now I know that what I am going to tell you is shocking. And your immediate reaction is to shut down this video. But if you let me explain, I think you will realize how powerful and helpful this idea is in your life. Your villain is suffering worse than you. Now, I would not tell you that that's a particularly easy idea to grab hold of because it's very hard to see that your villain is suffering worse than you when you are in the grips of resentment. And that is the very point. The only reason you have resentment is because you don't see that your villain is suffering worse than you. If you did, you would not have resentment. A good example of how successful people think is Warren Buffett. Testing, one million, two million, three million. <laughs> Who says this line, you can always shoot them tomorrow because he understands you cannot succeed and 
have resentment. You can either complain about the iceberg or search for a lifeboat, but you cannot do both. He knows full well that the decisions you make when you're in the grips of resentment are invariably counterproductive. Any gains to be had from pursuing resentment are far outweighed by their losses. Listen, it's a really great feeling to win and it is highly debilitating to be lied to, cheated or abused. However, the worst feeling of all is to think you are going to eventually win because that is what resentment really is. It's toxic and it's burning a hole in your side. You think you are going to eventually win because you don't realize you already have. There is nothing you're going to be able to do to them worse than what they have already done to themselves. Listen, it's easy to see with other people and it's easy to see in the extreme. People who do miserable things to other people are miserable people themselves. Anyone who can do cruel things to fluffy animals is not the kind of person who you will enjoy their company because these kind of people are miserable people. There is nothing you can do to them worse than they have already done to themselves. Anyone who lives with this idea will never suffer abuse. Highly successful people think in ways that make them resentment free. Yes, this idea is hard to grab hold of until you realize that it's a lot easier than holding on to resentment.